isolated and not integrated as, uh, as, we, as we know the internet today. And what are the, 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 where the risk of the fragmentation of the networks are coming from? And probably they are not coming from the technical arena, and they are coming from other, other places, like all the debates that we are uh, seeing today regarding net neutrality is, is one of the, of the points that, uh, one of the areas uh, from which uh, some uh, risk to the um, uh, integrity of the network could, be, uh, could emerge. But it's not only this one, uh, it is also important to, to have in mind that the fragmentation of the network could be produced also for political reasons. And I, in my, my personal view is that uh, this community has not been dealing uh, as seriously as we should have done in, the, in those uh, years um, with, this, uh, with this problem of the, the fragmentation of the network due to polit political reasons. Because the neutrality of the network is, uh, is already, it has, has been in risk for many years uh, before uh, the, the debate uh, motivated for business uh, uh, reasons uh, came up. Now, the, 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 flee, the free flow of information from point to point is, is, is something, it's a very serious problem in, in, in the world, and we should uh, deal with that. In, uh, and this is probably one of the major uh, challenges that we're facing in terms of integrity of the network. The, my last point is that um, other, uh, other uh, motivation, uh, other reason of fragmentation could be the overregulation, the excess of regulation um, in trying to deal in, the, in good faith with, uh, with problems that, like cybersecurity, um, cybercrime, and other problems and in which we share the objectives, but probably the, the decisions that could be taken in order to, to achieve the, the, most, the, the best results could be wrong and create uh, an overregulation that could uh, produce some fragmentations in the network. So uh, I, I think that uh, other colleagues have already spoken about uh, other technical uh, uh, challenges for the next future. I, I just wanted to mention uh, these uh, few, few points. Uh, I think that IPv4, IPv6 is an important point, but I think that the community is dealing in the, in the proper way with this, uh, with this, uh, with this, pro with this point. And uh, I call the attention of the people to the other um, uh, challenges that uh, come from non-technical uh, areas. Thank you. Thanks very much, Raul. Um, so there we have it from our, uh, our set of uh, experts. And I, what I heard was essentially uh, three things here. First off, there are a number of threats to the long-term stability on the technical side, and those threats range from uh, malicious attacks, uh, and other, other threats that it caused by bad guys to, on the other side, threats created by issues around implementation of uh, various measures that are meant to improve the Internet. Uh, and those threats arise in part from uh, the, the complexity of the uh, Internet system, uh, but also from, uh, from the need for uh, appropriate skills to take on that implementation. On the second uh, side, uh, there are policy threats, and those, uh, if I heard correctly, largely come from the subtlety of the interrelationships of the various actors in the Internet ecosystem uh, and the 